Hello everyone, I'm Tukon, and welcome back to another episode of the OTR series here on the One Ring server for the Umbar Pirates. Now, today I think is about time that we get ourselves a bit of an army. Um, because I finally have, as you can see above me, a uh, champion in Nierhrad. So I believe it's above 500 alignment, so it should be enough to get at least, you know, maybe some archers, some basic units... Uh, but first things first, I'm going to need some Horns of Command and whatnot, which I should have, actually, at my old base in the Iron Hills. So we'll quickly run there, grab ourselves some money, too, because uh, it's all stashed there still. I haven't moved anything yet, which I'm probably not going to, but uh, mainly because it's super easy to get there and back uh, because of the fast travel times are really short but uh we'll just grab some money and uh, we'll grab our horns of command we also have a table command if we need to make some new ones they should be in here actually there we are summon and ready units we'll just grab these and then some money i guess um uh how much how much do we want to spend 64 maybe 6400 maybe Nah, we'll bring it. We'll bring that much. Oh yeah, yeah, I can bring in corns. Yeah, how much do you need? <laughs> Cause I got, I got tons. Um, I forget. I forget the command. I know you guys told me what the command was for quickly messaging someone, but I completely forget. <laughs> uh, yeah, how much do you need? Uh, because I have tons, um, tons of coins. So <laughs> we have uh, quite quite a lot. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's a good and it's a good amount, you know. It's good. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll just give him a stack of these hundred silver coins. Maybe. I mean, depends on how much he needs. Uh, but we'll just hang out here for a little bit while while we wait for his response. Also, I have a ton of ores here that I could probably move over to. Got a lot of silver, so <laughs> anyone needs silver. I do have a quest for iron though, so I guess we would just bring a block Might as well. Um, 4K? Yeah, I got, I, I give you 4K. That's easy enough. Yeah, that's, that's, all right. So let's, uh, head back, uh, quickly and hand him that because, well, oh, he's way out there. Um, uh, let's, let's TPA to him because I'm not, I'm not running all the way out there. Um, yeah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> that's quite a ways. And so we are being teleported to him, which is great. I don't know what he's doing out there. Probably just um, scouting the area, I suppose, maybe. Um, so we want 4K, so we'll give him, we'll give him 4K. No, yeah, okay, here, take it. It should be. Hopefully that's enough for whatever projects he's got going. I think he's got projects going for, um, uh, making armor and stuff and that's why he needs all the coins which you know that's totally fine I, I'm not very good at making armor and uh, tools myself so if he does it that's all the better because I'm not very good at it now we are I believe there is like an encampment by the town here oh there's a camp there all right we might as well use that one yeah so that should be good. Should be able to find a good, yeah, here we are, encampment. Now, if only we can find the, there he is, the captain. So higher, let's see what we need for alignment. So 150, and that's it? Really? I can only hire these guys. Better at looting coins from slain enemies, really? That's interesting. So do they drop more coins if they're if uh, they're killed by these fellows? Maybe. But um, I can't hire any archers, and I really want some archers for like some garrisons on top of the towers. Um. Yeah. See, he, he's gonna make myth armor <laughs> and weapons for us, which is great. Actually, if you need a mithril uh, and you're watching this video, just ask. I got quite a bit of that too. If you need it. Uh, now. I don't know why. Well, actually, it might be because. Wait, what? You're who's? Huh? Oh, you. <laughs> you guys look identical. Um, but I think it might have to do with pledging my 
allegiance uh that might have an issue with with this so let me quickly go home oh wait we we have a cooldown don't we we do have a cooldown uh, i'm pretty sure we do yeah three minutes hmm oh what type of weapon um i could use a pike or which is better a pike or a spear um i don't know I don't remember which one's better, pike or a spear. Um, well, I have this awesome sword from Leaf, which is awesome. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to be using that because that's amazing. My bow's good. That's also from Leaf. Um, let's see here. Which type of weapon? Um, I mean, we could go with a hammer. But I kind of need a pike. I do need a pike because this one is still the dwarven one and honestly it's not the greatest uh and i do need a brand new one so we'll probably just go with this one then because we need it <laughs> polar is okay what huh i don't i don't know what you mean <laughs> polar is okay um not sure what you mean by that but uh anyway I was wondering, you know, it you know would be really awesome if they had a um, command table spawn in these, in these encampments. That would be amazing, because then you could, you know, pledge your allegiance and whatnot if need be. Um, yeah, Halbert is good. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what to do with myself um right now because. Gotta wait for a cooldown. Oh, it's only two minutes. Uh, that's not bad at all. Actually, that's pretty good. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that a camel over there? Ooh. Well, I don't have a saddle, unfortunately. If I did... Wait a minute. This one does have a saddle. <gasps> it's a camel with a saddle. That's amazing. Okay, we got ourselves a camel. Cool. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't think we'd get one. Um, we could head to the town, actually, real quick. Because I do have uh, some quests that I can complete. Uh, especially the one in my corner right now. The eight iron ingots. Pole axe I meant first. A pole axe or halberd? Um, yeah, I'll take I'll take the halberd. The halberd is good. Um, yeah. Ooh, slain by an elk. How do you get slain by an elk? Huh. You must have some uh, pretty pretty poor armor. I gotta admit, probably some pretty bad ones. But um, we should be able to fast travel. Oh, it's just, it's almost there. Come on. Let us fast travel uh, to where we need to go. Because I really like to fast travel to that town. Quickly drop that stuff off. And then, and then go to the table command and see how much alignment we need for uh, pledging our allegiance to Umbar. Now, of course, we are going to need 5,000 alignment in order to become king, or the pirate king, I suppose, of Umbar. But unfortunately, uh, I'm only at 500, so I have to grind 10 more times to 500, and only then will we be able to actually claim Umbar as our um, territory. Of course, that is definitely going to take a while, because uh, it took me around about, hmm, excuse me, I think it took me about an hour, maybe, to get to 500, so about 10 hours, I mean... You know that's that's okay but it's not great <laughs> i mean that's that's definitely some time investment which you know is understandable if you want to be king and whatnot so um definitely totally understandable but uh definitely quite quite a lot okay so i don't know which one wanted the iron you want mutton i don't have mutton for you i didn't even realize that that was one of the quests that i've got uh what about you hey iron oh yes ha here's your iron Ooh, a scroll. Thank you. Ooh, it's mighty. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not as great as legendary, but shoot, that's pretty good. So now that that quest is done, uh, let us head back home uh, to Konos Rash in order to take a look. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong one. Konos Rash. Oh, wait, time. <laughs> I forgot, I also got time in there. Well, anyway, this is the uh, town that I'm mainly spending most of my time at in order to get quests and whatnot uh, for the time being. It's a fairly sizable town, honestly. 
It's got a lot of loot too uh, that could still be looted, such as all these animals and fields and I mean, look at all those hay bales. <laughs> that's a lot of there's a lot of wheat, a lot of bread too if you're looking for it. And I've got quite a few other quests going at the same time too. Most of them, I believe, are killing, um, slaying Gondorians like that guy there. Uh, although I try and find the easy ones, like just grabbing them some materials or whatnot. Yeah, like this one. This one I can do actually real quick. Uh, so let's do this while we're waiting for our time, or for our timer to be off. I should have some in my building pouch. Yeah, I do. Nice. All right, here you are, sir. Cool. Money. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, then. And I guess we can throw that in there because there's no reason to keep it around. Nice. Okay, so, oh, man, I didn't see what my alignment was. You know, I... I it's cool to have like the title champion above near Harad and whatnot. I mean, that's cool and all, but honestly, I really would like to see what sort of alignment it has. Uh, do I have long and swift? Um, I probably do, but let me check. I probably have it back at Konos Rash. Yeah, just let me check. Uh, I should, I should have some long and swift ones. And if I don't, then I don't know. I could probably loot some, um, from fighting enemies and whatnot, because I mean this thing is is pretty amazing. <laughs> uh, I mean it's got looting three, it's blessed. It's pretty good loot from it. But uh, anyway, we should be able to find some. This should be in here. Okay, let's see here. Well, we might as well throw that in there. Let's see here. Long and swift. Um, silken glancing, master cooling, light footed, silken strong, legendary. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, I'm not seeing any, see, strong, hardy, uh, I don't, I don't see any, I should have a scrolls, um, yeah, there it is, I was about to say, I should have a scrolls pouch that has a ton of scrolls in it, yeah, here we go, uh, let's see here, I don't, I don't see any yet, oh, there's a long, there's a long, there's another long. Nice, nice. I don't need that. <laughs> uh, okay, I s we got two longs, but I don't see any swift. Get okay, hasty. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess that's gonna have to do. And also, let's uh, quickly. Oh wait a minute. Can I just pledge? I can just pledge here, can I? Ah, I forgot about that. Oh, it only requires a hundred alignment. So we're good then. We can pledge. Pledge service to near Harad, right? Uh, I just want to make sure that it is in fact near Harad. Okay, we got Haradrim, Tarthrim, Mordwith, and half trolls. Yeah, it's gotta be Harad. All right then, near Harad, pledge allegiance. All right, cool. Um, all right, so I have. Um, I have two long scrolls, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, so I just have two. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, so I just do have two long scrolls, which, you know, isn't the greatest. Um, I I was pretty sure I had... Um, I was pretty sure I had Swift, but I don't... I guess I don't. I thought I did, but I guess I, guess I don't. Uh, so let's just TPA to Tautvitz. And then finally head back <laughs> to that um, captain and hire our units, which should be all well and good. And then we can start garrisoning them around about the area. And also, you know, I didn't realize this, but I know you can, um, you can, um, ooh, ooh, this is a nice town. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. I didn't realize this, but you can apparently... Um, also, um, I guess give your units different armors and clothes and stuff like that. So I could dress them up as like civilians, just kind of wandering around or even just pirate junk pirates or something like that. Um, so that should be, it should be all good, but man, this is a nice place. Where is this? Uh, is it mapped? No, it's not mapped. Ooh, this is a fancy place though. It's got a nice bazaar here. We got a ton of traders too. Man, this place is sweet. We got brewers, we got, ooh, is this the butcher? Whoa, he wants iron and salt. 
Of course he'd want salt. He's he's a butcher. Uh, but that's that's pretty good prices. I think I have some. Um, searching for someone to buy corals. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I've never found anyone who actually buys corals. Hmm. I mean, you might be able to find some who's uh, buying corals who just kind of like wandering traders or whatnot. Maybe like some. Um. Oh, what what do you call them? I guess the. Um, scavengers no they're not called scavengers what are they called the um what are they called like the scrap uh traders i don't remember their, their right name but you know what i mean <laughs> the scrap um the scrap traders wh whatever they're called um you might be able to sell them to them possibly i don't i don't really know but anyway let's head to the camp um actually it might be better just to go to the town because honestly there is a um, encampment by the town as well, and it's faster to go to the town. So I think this should be uh, a bit faster if we do it this way. Uh, so, all right, so we do have everything. We have Horns Command, we got money, we have everything we need, I'm pretty sure. Okay, then. Uh, I don't remember where exactly this encampment was, but I know it's on the outskirts of the town, uh, if I remember correctly. So if we go all around it, we should be able to find it. Uh, might be quicker though if I was to grab a mount, but yeah, <laughs> this should be fast enough. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. Aha! My memory served me right. All right then, where are you, my captain? I need to hire some units from you. There you are. Uh, here we are. Hire. What? That's it? Just what? Aw. Whoa, seventeen. Wait a minute. Do, do captains, are there different prices? Like, do some captains, you know, have higher prices than the other ones? Because that's interesting. But, um, I guess we, there are no archers in the Corsair's Umbar. Which is weird, because you'd think there would be archers, you know? I mean, they're on ships. You need some sort of form of ranged attack, you know? But, um, I suppose that'll be alright then. Um, assigned a squadron? I, yeah, we don't really need that right now. All right, so let's, uh, let's get our horns of command and, um, get those all ready. And I don't know how many we should hire. I mean, there's 17. That's really cheap, like crazy cheap. I mean, we don't not want a ton. Um, probably, let's go 25 to start off. Um, just trying to count here. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. And there we go. <laughs> that should be a decent number to start ourselves off. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's see what we got here. We got, um, looks like we got some swords, got some spears, got some pikes, axes. I don't see anyone with maces. Now we got a dagger, a poison dagger. That's pretty cool. All right, this is look, this looking pretty good. All right, now let me see how this works because I haven't tried it out before. So let me see here. Let's talk to this fella. No, no, no. Let's command the fella. Replace equipment. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. So I could, like, give him Gondorian stuff. Okay. That's interesting. Directives. Guard mode. Ooh. We can do guard mode. Hmm. Very interesting, then. Um, <laughs> well, these guys should be able to liven up the center of town. Um, hmm, that should be enough for now. I mean, it's a pretty good sized, uh, sort of raiding party for the moment. I don't even know how many that is. I know I counted 25, but, uh, <laughs> it might be a bit more. Anyway, let's head home, uh, back to our pirate town, a small island. Hmm, I'm going to have to check that out soon. Uh, and also I should show you guys what's going on in the town because I've been showing you guys the new things that have been added. Uh, I tried finishing the docks, but I don't have any reeds, um, which is an issue. Mainly because the shop for or at the shop at spawn is currently down because <laughs> they're doing, um, I believe they're doing like some sort of rebuilding of spawn and whatnot. So the spawns kind of temporarily shut down uh, so I don't have a reliable way of getting reads right now so I mean this is kind of unfinished at the moment uh, you guys stay here for right now um, actually it looks like you're gonna drown guys <laughs> okay ready then oh shoot 
Come on, guys. This way, please. Seven per coral. That doesn't seem like the greatest. All right. You guys all teleported? Good. Now stay here. There we go. Halt them. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. And halt. There we go. That's better. All right, then. Uh, you guys are still stuck in the water, but that's okay. Uh, they aren't drowning or anything, so it should be fine. All right, then. Um, what we have here is, honestly, I don't really know. I mean, uh, it's a massive terraforming project, I guess, uh, for the palace, but I'm not quite sure how that's going to work with the palace. Uh, not quite sure, but, I mean, it's pretty big um, change in terrain. I'm not sure... How exactly it's all gonna look? How high they, uh, whoever's building this wants to go? Actually, I don't even know who is building this. Um, it might be with the wolf demon. I think it might be him. Um, building this massive uh, cliff face, which honestly, it looking, it's looking pretty good. I just, I wonder if I can help because <laughs> I kind of finished all my other projects, mainly because, well, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, reeds to finish the roofs off. Because I still need to finish that roof off. There's one over here. That building there. I still got to finish that roof. And this one too. But like I said, I don't have any reeds. Or a reliable way of getting reeds. And we aren't really manufacturing any at the moment. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, there might be some in the player shops. I haven't checked yet. But I don't... Where are you going? But I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure there isn't uh, anything like that going on. So... 100% certain about that. And actually, let's uh, let's move our soldiers out of the middle of town. That way it's kind of... There we go. That's better. Because I don't want them to just kind of roam around in the middle of town, causing a bunch of lag. So let's just keep them out here for now. Uh, but it's pretty it's a pretty good army starting off. You know, about 25 units. Uh, you know, I am kind of disappointed that I can't get archers. Because I tell you what, I really do like archers uh, when it comes to units in the LTR mod. Although, what are these fellows over here? Because these do not look like Corsair. These, I mean, maybe they're dressed up differently? They have Umbar. What kind of units are you guys? The Umbar soldier. Okay, so you guys are Umbar. Umbar soldier, Umbar soldier. Okay, then what about my guys? They look all kind of different <laughs> and weird. Uh, so let me check them real quickly to see if they're just Corsair like brigands or something like that maybe or if they are actually Corsair soldiers because I mean I really don't know it just says Corsair of Umbar not really Corsair soldier yeah, it just says Corsair of Umbar just hmm interesting well then how, how do I get Corsairs of uh, uh, soldiers of Corsair I wonder well, I guess that's something I'll have to look up after this video here, because honestly, I don't know. Because I'd much rather have uh, these fellas, because they look just tougher. The Umbar soldier. Yeah, they just look tougher. And a whole lot better than the Corsairs of Umbar. I mean, they just kind of look like rabble, which is fine. You know, I'll use them to kind of, I suppose, decorate town, if you will. Which should be fine. But, um, you know, I was kind of wondering about the Corsair, or Umbar soldiers, because kind of want them. Uh, over the other ones. Oh, welcome back, fella. The Wolf of Demon. Aha. Welcome back. Um, and again, also the, uh, <laughs> the farm's looking amazing. I mean, it looks like a lush garden, to be honest. It looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, of course, the walls still do need to be, um, finished. However, I think we're, we kind of ran low on the Numenorean bricks. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to, uh, collect some of those as well, uh, to get that all started. And I believe that's everything news, new that's happened over the past week. Not a whole lot, um, to be honest, but, you know, it's, it's definitely progress going on. Uh, I mean, what I've mainly been doing is just grinding alignment, trying to get that higher so I can actually um, <laughs> become the leader of the Pirates of Umbar. Of course, that is taking quite, quite some time. Um, but I believe that's pretty much all I wanted to do today was get an army, kind of show you guys what's up. Um, and I believe that is all, to be honest. Yeah, Umbar soldier. I gotta, I gotta find how to get those, because 
they do look a lot tougher than the Corsairs of Umbar, because they're just a bunch of pirate rabble, which, yeah, it's all right, but uh, I kind of want <laughs> something a bit better. I mean, I guess we could, uh, if we wanted to, start on decorating this stuff up here. But uh, I was going to kind of leave that to the wolf demon because he's pretty good at decorating. I mean, well, pretty good. He's really good. I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> I'm good with big buildings and whatnot. But um, decorating, eh, it's not really my strong suit. Um, and also, I was wondering kind of how far they wanted uh, these walls to go. Because it looks like it's going to encircle the entire thing, as I showed you guys last time. So that also, of course, has to get finished, as well as the gatehouse here. Uh, maybe I'll help out with that, perhaps. Although this encampment here is also really good. Honestly, I might bring my soldiers over here just to kind of, <laughs> just kind of, um, I don't know, put them over here, I suppose. <laughs> just to make it look like uh, this place is filled with pirates and whatnot. Because, I mean, we do have all the ships here and whatnot. So, I mean, we might as well bring them over here. I mean, they weren't expensive, so honestly, I don't mind if they kind of um, die and whatnot. But uh, if we summon them here, let's see here. You guys here? Nice. They are. Cool. Uh, well, I guess we'll just leave them here for now. And that should be pretty good. Oh, there, there's all of our reeds. Um, okay. Cool. I didn't realize that we had a bunch of reeds going over here. That's nice. Uh, well, if I do need reeds, which I do, uh, I guess we'll just come here and uh, take them all out. Well, that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, that's a hole. Oh. We should use that for something. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the LTR mod. Um, not a whole lot going on this episode. Just kind of chilling, making ourselves a nice little army. Starting off with some basic, I guess, scum <laughs> uh, to join our army. Of course, next time we might get ourselves some stronger units. Some Umbar soldiers instead of just Corsairs Umbar. Also, um, we might... We might be working on the palace next time as well. I don't know. We'll see how the um, terraforming goes. If it's finished by then, we'll start work on the palace and perhaps also the um, the sewer system, actually. Well, I guess it's not really the sewer system. More like an um, underground hideaway place uh, right over here. We might work on this area. Just kind of, you know, spruce it up a little bit. Put some cobblestone in here. You know, just, just some bits and bobs. Just to make it look a bit nicer, a bit neater. Um, and as of... All right, so everything's going. Everything's going pretty good. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. As always, I'm Tuco. God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.